Well, I'm sure a lot of people are going to be happy about this one, because Final Fantasy XVI has finally been announced as coming to PC. Literally just having been announced made the video as quick as I could, but on September 17th of this year, people who have been wanting to play Final Fantasy XVI on something that isn't a PS5 will finally get the opportunity to do so. And there's a demo available, you can buy it as its own version for $44.99, so it's cheaper than it was when it came out for PlayStation, or you can get it as the Final Fantasy XVI Complete Edition, which comes with all of the DLC that came along with it. So people will get an opportunity to finally experience this game on a different machine. And I want to give a quick go to the demo, because my PC is pretty good, but I'd be curious to see how well it handles this. So let's dive in and take a look. Before we continue with the video, do bear in mind that I am an artist as well, and I do actually draw portraits of characters from various different Final Fantasy games, including, of course, Final Fantasy XVI. I have drawn a portrait of Clive, of which I've already made a video of the time-lapse of that as well, if you'd like to see that. And if you'd like to support the channel, then perhaps consider clicking on the Etsy link in the description box below, and consider buying a print or two from me. It's massively appreciated, and I really would love more people to see my art. So having just loaded the demo up, and at least it's done that, which is a good start, with the specs of my computer, which I'll leave just in the text box below here so you can see what computer I have, it seems like the game has decided that it should be playing on ultra settings. I'm not so sure about that, but we'll have to wait and see. But one of the things that is going to be nice is the frame rate, because something that plagued the PS5 version of Final Fantasy 16 is that its frame rate wasn't the most consistent at all times. And having the ability to kind of like see what your FPSs can get to and have it be consistent with the really high end PCs is something that PC players are going to be really excited about. So we'll have to see what happens with that too. So one thing I have noticed, unfortunately, is that the game seems to have kind of crashed at this point in the game already, and this is right at the start of the demo, so not the greatest look, but oh no, it's really just not liking that at all. As I expected, game's clearly too strong for my PC as it is at the highest fidelity it can go, so I've actually just reduced some of the parameters of Final Fantasy 16 so that I can get it working on my computer correctly. It has to be said, playing this demo for the first time again since the PlayStation release is very nostalgic. As FF16 was like the first major Final Fantasy game that I was part of the media campaign for, and I will never not be grateful to Square Enix for that, so I just wanted to extend a quick shout out to them just for that on its own. So as you can see here, it's, I mean, I've got this on medium settings and it looks pretty close to the PS5 version and it doesn't look any worse than I was expecting it to. Like I said, I think that going into ultra settings on a 3070 on a game this clean looking is a little bit of copium, but it looks good. But I'm going to explore the demo a little more, but after that I want to then talk about why this coming out on PC is as big a deal as it is to a lot of people. A quick note as well, as for whether I think this game's going to be playable on Steam Deck, I very much doubt it. But I'm happy to be wrong, because if that turns out to be the case, I'd much rather play it natively on Steam Deck than be playing it through something like Chiaki for Deck so that I can play it remotely from my PlayStation. Because the idea of playing this portably is pretty darn cool. So this appears to be very much the same demo that we got back on the PlayStation 5 as well, so it's definitely something that I think everyone should experience. If you've not played Final Fantasy 16, if nothing else, I very much encourage you to play the demo because I genuinely believe it is one of the best demos I have ever played in a video game, period. I have my feelings about FF16 as a whole, but the opening couple of hours that you get to play in this demo will get you to want to play this game, and I will be very, very surprised if it doesn't. So now let's talk about why the PC version of Final Fantasy 16 is a really good step for Square Enix to take. I think that a lot of people like to kind of talk about the sales figures of Final Fantasy games in particular, I've covered this in previous videos, but 16, I think there's something that was a limitation to it, was its restriction to the PlayStation 5 console. And by being on PC, it does open it up to a wider market of people, particularly people who've never played a Final Fantasy before, that can now get into 16 as a starting point. I also think that it being on PC is big for another reason, which is going to be mods. And you know, and we've seen this with Final Fantasy VII Remake and previous entries in Final Fantasy's series that have been put on PC, 
people like to go to town on modding when it comes to Final Fantasy games. And I don't think that's going to be any different with Final Fantasy 16. As a matter of fact, I think the vocal minority that likes to focus very, very heavily on certain areas of Clive's body are going to have an absolute field day when it comes to modding the PC version. And given that it's going to be available on both Steam and Epic, as opposed to FF7 Remake, which was originally released on Epic and then later released on Steam, I think that's a really good step for them to take as well, because a lot of people don't like the Epic Game Store, and they'd much prefer to use Steam. So having it available on multiple storefronts is also a plus here too. I also think price point is a pretty big contention as well when it comes to steps in the right direction for Final Fantasy games or any game that's being released on a different platform than the one it originated on. And £45 for the base game, it's pretty good if you ask me, considering it was £70 when it came out on PlayStation 5. For it to be nearly half that as a PC game, where people can kind of toy with it and play around with it where they couldn't have done before, and potentially if they have a behemoth of a machine, make it run even better than it did on the PS5 version. I'm looking forward to seeing how that turns out. Taking a quick look at the comments, now bear in mind that this demo has not even been out an hour as of the making of this video. People are more concerned about the fact that there's no ultra wide formatting supported, but again, I would say that if something that could be addressed later, it is just the demo. There is a couple of months or a little while before the main game comes out, or a month, it's late August already. Wow, time has progressed. I also think that it's going to be interesting to see whether De Nouveau, like online only play, is going to be a thing with this because it's something that's very, very heavily contentious. And people are saying that it's only 30 frames per second for cinematic. Now, I don't think that that should be the case, but I think that a lot of games do this. But and it's also something that could easily be modded out if people are that annoyed about it. But I think that just having access to the game on a wider scale for a lot of people is nothing but a plus. And it's something that people have been asking for for a long time. So with that being said, I'm going to be really curious to see how this game is received when it does release in September. Because it's a case of people are asking for it, asking for it, asking for it, asking for it. And yet the internet is the internet. And I'll be interested to see how this turns out when it releases. So yeah, that's all I have to say on the matter. I wanted to report on this as soon as I found out about it. I also wanted to give the demo a go on my computer, which is not limited by any means, but it's certainly not a super high-end PC either. And I think in conclusion, I think that it's going to require a very high-end PC to get the absolute most out of Final Fantasy 16. Don't go into it expecting 60 frames per second ultra sort of super duper mega settings if you're sitting on a computer like mine which was top of the range maybe four years ago like at the launch of the ps5 because you know a ps5 couldn't handle ff16 to the point where it was doing 60 frames in everything so pcs have a much wider range and i'll be really curious to see how it turns out when it releases i keep saying that but it's true Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and a subscribe to the channel if you've enjoyed what you've seen here today. And leave a comment. Are you excited about the PC version of Final Fantasy 16? Did you not get to play it because it was on PS5 and you didn't have a PS5? Because I think realistically, those are the people that should be excited most. And if you're not sure about the game, then definitely try the demo because the demo truly is one of the greatest demos I've ever played in a video game. So if nothing else, go and play that and it will pull you into FF16, I promise you. Thank you all very much again and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care everyone, bye bye.